African drums are talking. Into the breathless African night, through tree canopied aisles from the heart of the hidden juju grove, the ritual drum booms like the tolling of a funeral bell. Juju is calling an offender of the gods to a ghastly retribution. And the lonely white trader claps his hands over his ears to shut out the awful drumming that brings madness to the brain. Land of veldt and swamp, witch doctors and jungle. This is Africa. Professor Anton Edwards and his little party of explorers in Africa are attempting to leave the city of a lost people in the crater of an extinct volcano. The only road is through the Passage of the Rock, a dark cavern that apparently runs through the huge cliffs that surround the sunken kingdom and through which the great apes roam at certain seasons. The passage is dark and forbidding, but the little party supplied with food, water, and torches attempts the adventure. After many hours of marching, they reach a river running across the floor of the passage. Their first attempt to cross was interrupted by a huge crocodile. A shot disposed of the monster, and then an eerie and blind old woman appears to direct them across the stream. She repeatedly warns the party to beware of the moon. And as they cross the river, they hear the throaty snarls of great apes in the distance. You think it's safe to go on, Father? Those apes seem to be getting closer. Well, we're past the water now. Keep your rifles ready. You may have to use them quickly. Light another torch, Jack. Give it to Lorna. Right. Here you are, Lorna. I've got it. What needs ye with more light, eh? To kill apes, if necessary, old woman. <laughs> Thou would have no need to kill. Fear not, great stranger. The apes traversed another passage close to this. Oh, then there's more than one outlet? I know not how many, but this I know, that there is one that is safe for thee. Hmm. Oh, she's turning off into a passage on the left. Go a beam ahead of her with your flashlight, Lorna. It ascends sharply, sir. Yeah. Narrower than this one, though. Come on, better follow her. What do you make of her, sir? You think she's crazy? Yeah, probably driven in here to escape the priest at one time. Learn the secret of living in this place. Well, how she does it, I don't know. But those apes, her pets, as she calls them, how do you account for that? Well, she's been living here so long, she knows their habits and doesn't fear them. Or else knows how to keep out of their way. She stopped. And is feeling over her head for something. Buana, Nguru, smell them, good wind. Well, I hope that's so. <laughs> Nguru says there's fresh air coming from somewhere. Look, that's a rope she has, sir. No, it's a rope ladder. Well, well how in heaven's name is it? Well, it's swinging from a hole in the ceiling. There's a shaft running straight up. Art thou ready for the first step of thy journey? Where does this lead, old mother? It leadeth to a passage above, which in turn leadeth to... <laughs> leadeth to the moon. The moon! <laughs> well, I sincerely hope it does. Although I don't like the way she says that. But Jack, this is a rope ladder. Can't you see the inconsistency of the thing? A rope ladder in this place? No, it isn't rope. Huh? It's grass fiber of some sort. Hmm. This ladder was used centuries ago by people living on the outside. And what did they use it for? To get water. Evidently, that river back there was their only source of water supply. Oh. I've heard of natives in other countries who tunnel underground for water and carry it up over with uh, rope ladders. But a grass rope won't last forever. Yeah, but it's not grass, Jack. It's some strong, fibrous vine. Here, pull my rifle. I want to test it. Careful you don't pull something down from above. Yeah, yeah it holds. Unguro, give me the rope we brought. And that flashlight, Lorna. I'm going to take a look around. Thanks. Hmm. Just a straight shaft up there. Can't see the top from here. Old Mother, where do you go when we take this journey? I? <laughs> now that the priests are destroyed, there is work for this old head. I work. The queen hath need of me. 
Go thy ways and look upon the face of the moon and remember my warning. Well, if you feel that way about it, here goes. <laughs> Thou art anxious to see the moon again, eh? Yes, and to breathe all the fresh air that goes with it. The moon hath much in store for thee, my son. Have a care, for she will steal thy brain and torment thy senses until... Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm lowering the rope. See it? Yes, I've got it. Tie the rifles and heavy stuff to the end and I'll pull it up. Okay. Uh, give me a rifle, Lorna. Yeah. Better put the torches out. Use the flashlight. All right. All set. All the way. Oh, Jack, I'll be glad to get out of this place. I'm feeling just a little... You've been great, dear. Stick it out just a little longer and we'll be out of here. Here. Hold on to me. That better? Yes. <laughs> Aye, hold on to him, my dear, hold on to him. The moon has an eye for strong young men. What is this she keeps saying about the moon? Does it mean anything, Jack? All okay. Then Lorna. Right. Ready, Lorna? Yes. Okay. Up you go. <laughs> You're making it all right, Lorna? Yes. Coming up. Jack. Yes, sir. Then we'll go up and follow right behind him. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, give me your hand now, Lorna, and I'll pull you over the top. Yeah. Uh, there you are. Oh, isn't the air clean up here? Mm, that's good. Yes, we must be somewhere near the outside. You on your way, Angoro? I want to. This job for monkey, huh? <laughs> you old grumbler. Be thankful the ladder was there. Coming over, sir. Oh, gosh, that air feels good. Yeah, is the old woman down there still? She was when I started up. You better put the flashlight out. Light a torch, Jack. Oh, la there. Old mother. Is there anything we can do to show our gratitude for your help? There is nothing, my son. Thou hast done enough for my daughter already. For your daughter? Who is your daughter? <laughs> when I reach the palace, I shall tell her that thou art safe. <laughs> she must mean the queen. Mm. Yes. Then, then she is the mother of the queen? Evidently. Hmm. Beware the eyes of the moon, my son. Beware the eyes of the moon. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a bit of a shock. I wish I'd known it before. There was nothing we could have done anyway. <laughs> well, here are the rivals. Let's get going. Here's her open, Guru. But what was all that she kept saying about the moon, Father? Each time it had a, a note of warning. Well, I really don't know, my dear. But I've learned not to disregard the sayings of these people. Let's forget it for a while. It'll show itself when the time comes. Why not? Spirit drum. Hmm. What's that? Quiet, everyone. Yes, Nguro. That's a drum, all right. Oh. Huh. Spirit drum for devil talk, Juana. You hear it, Jack? Yes, very faintly. And Guru says it's a ritual drum for talking with a priest. Whatever it is, we're somewhere near a village. Come on, we'll be out soon. Hey, look. The corridor turns right ahead. There's a faint light coming in. Melum chewy, Juana. Melum cat. Careful. When Guru says he can smell the big cats. Oh. Looks as if we're out at last, people. Yes, there's the cave mouth. Look out! You rolled him over, sir. Yes, but he got away. What was it, Father? It looked like a panther to me. No, it was a leopard. An old one. <laughs> well, we're out, people. No wonder we didn't see the end of the passage before. It's night time. Yes. 
I think we're on the side of a mountain. See those fires down there? Must be a fairly large village. That's where the drum beats come from. Some sort of a ceremony going on. Look at that moon. I've never seen it so large before. Eh, it's good to see it again. Yes, but doesn't it look rather cold and... Oh, well, there's something about it that... Ooh. What's the matter, dear? Oh, nothing. I guess I had the shivers for a moment. Oh. Are we any quinine left, Jack? I think so, sir. I know what you're going to say, Father, but it's not fever. It... It... Well, something seems to happen to me when I look at the moon. It, it was as if... Oh, Jack! Don't grip my arm like that. Jack! Jack! Yes? Yes? What? You're hurting my arm, dear. I... I... Oh, am I? Uh, oh. oh. Oh, good heavens, Lorna. I'm sorry. I... I must have... Well, Jack, my boy, I think you're the one that needs the medicine. Your eyes look like burning coals. Let's get down to that village. We all need a rest. Yes, sir, I... I guess I am feeling a little strange. Siguro, you lead the way down. Go along with him, Jack. I'll follow with Lorna. Father, I... Hmm? I'm just a little frightened. Did you see Jack's face just now? You mean when he was looking at the moon, eh? Yes. The moon was shining right on his face. And he looked like some... Some, some wild animal. Yes, that's it. And his hand gripping my arm felt suddenly like an animal's claw growing tighter every minute. 